My name is Jackson Nickerson. I'm a professor of organization and strategy at the Olin Business School at Washington University in St. Louis. Different people have different definitions for critical thinking. Uh, one definition is simply to be logical. Uh, Aristotle focused on errors of logic. That's only one type of critical thinking. The other type is to engage in a type of devil's advocacy where you flash out assumptions, hidden meanings, and you weigh various aspects of the decision. Uh, my definition of critical thinking is really about overcoming biases, often hidden biases that people have, to make sure that they formulate the right problem and solve it well. I believe that critical thinking is a skill that can be taught. What's important to recognize is that good critical thinking is really about a process and a mindset. The process to make sure you're choosing the right problem to solve and going through a problem solving process to make sure you're evaluating the right decision. But doing that process requires you to have a mindset where you're willing to reflect and learn and get better and better. The research shows that if you become aware of a bias you might have, that doesn't help you at all in terms of overcoming it. Instead, there are really three things to do. Number one, you follow your own, bi own process to avoid those biases. Number two, you work with a group of people with the hope that by having different people going through a specific process, you can avoid the biases collectively. And three, it's important to reflect on everything you do, particularly when things don't go well. Take full responsibility to understand how what you did and your biases may have contributed to the bad outcome. Recently I worked with a large financial services firm. They were a discount type firm and recently a competitor had lowered its price. So they wanted to know if they should lower their price or not. It turns out months of months of debate couldn't reveal to them a decision that they could all agree on. So I was asked to come in and help them work through a critical thinking process. The outcome is that they discovered that yes, the competitor lowered their price, but there are reasons why the competitor lowered their price. Uh, the firm I was in discussions with, it turned out that, well, their innovation rate slowed, that they weren't the low cost, quick follower that they had hoped to be. Instead, they had become a high cost, slow follower. So in order to respond, not only did they have to lower their price, they had to change their internal structure and refocus the organization on being a fast, low-cost follower. And did they do that? And they did that. So what is Successfully, I might add. The people who are most successful in business are often thought of in terms of thinking outside the box. Well, how do you think outside the box? The key to me is to formulate a problem comprehensively. You see, the number one problem that businesses have and leaders have is they tend to jump to a solution. Uh, think of your own situation when you've jumped to a solution and things didn't work out very well. So to be successful, pause, reflect, make sure you've formulated the right problem before you start thinking about what solution to implement.